Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm going to tell you the story of a Ukrainian folktale about a little boy and his mitten. Today I'm going to use a clothesline method where you add all the parts of the story. I have some friends here to help me who are just off screen tell the story. Once upon a time, there was a little boy named Ilya. Ilya always lost his mittens. Every day he'd go out to play and he'd come back without one or two of his mittens. Well, he had no mittens, so he went to his mom and said, Mom, will you knit me a pair of snowy white woolen mittens? Well, his mom <laughs> laughed and said, No, Ilya, I will not make you a snowy white pair of mittens. You lose all your mittens. If I give you a white pair, they will fall in the snow and you will never see them. But Ilya really, really wanted a pair of white mittens. So his mom made him snowy white woolen mittens. Well, the very next day, Ilya went outside to play and he lost one of his snowy white mittens. It fell in the snow and he went off to play without it. Soon a spiny spiky hedgehog came by. The spiny spiky hedgehog wanted a warm place to sleep. And when he saw that mitten, he curled up inside and got all nice and warm. Next, a hoppy poppy rabbit came by. The rabbit saw that mitten and he wanted to go inside. So he said, who lives here? And the spiny, spiky hedgehog said, I live here. But the spiny, spiky hedgehog moved over and let the hoppy poppy rabbit inside. Next came a smiley, wily fox. The fox wanted a nice place to stay. And when he saw the mitten, he thought he would go inside. So he said, who lives here? And the hoppy poppy rabbit and the spiny spiky hedgehog said, we live here. But they moved over and they made room for the fox. Next came a sleepy, snuggly bear. The sleepy, snuggly bear was very sleepy and he wanted to go inside the mitten. So he said, who lives here? And the smiley, wily fox and the hoppy, poppy rabbit and the spiny, spiky hedgehog said, We live here. But nobody says no to a bear. So they moved over and made some new space for the bear. Next came a little tiny mouse. The mitten was getting so full that there was no more room. But that little mouse found a place to snuggle in. The mouse said, who lives here? And the sleepy snuggly bear and the smiley wily fox and the hoppy poppy rabbit and the spiny spiky hedgehog said, we live here. Well, that little mouse found a place to stay right on the bear's nose. And the mouse's whiskers and the mouse's little toes made that bear sneeze at you. And when the bear sneezed, the crunchy munchy mouse and the sleepy snuggly bear and the smiley wily fox and the hoppy poppy rabbit and the sp spiny spiky hedgehog flew out of the mitten. And the mitten flew up. And just then Ilya was coming by and he jumped up and grabbed that mitten and put it on and went home to show his mom that he did not lose his snowy white mittens. This clothesline story is a lot of fun when we're telling stories to kids because they can join in. Even the very youngest kid can say a simple line like we live here and older kids can help with the ongoing building of crunchy, munchy, sleepy, snuggly, smiley, wily, hoppy, poppy, spiny, spiky. 
When you use words that are fun, like munchy and hoppy, they're simple words that still bring a lot of joy and enthusiasm. You can use any animals you want. You can use owls, you can use badgers, you could use animals in your own community, you could use zoo animals, you can use anything you want. You can even use clothing to build a story where someone is putting something on over and over and over again. The sky's the limit in the ideas that you can use. But it's a lot of fun and a great way to engage more people, and especially younger people. They can even help you color the pictures and cut them out so that they feel a part of the story and can not only join in, but develop their own love and their own excitement for telling stories.